Mindfulness practices have transformed my life. As a super anxious kid that grew into an anxious adult, I wish I had access to these practices when I was a child. My name is Kim Armstrong. I'm a co-founder and the executive director of Space Between. We bring mindfulness practices to school communities. What's mindfulness? Let's try it. Uh, taking your hand, place it over your heart and lower your gaze. Turn your attention to your heart beating under your hand. In a deep inhale through your nose, and a long exhale through your nose, notice how you feel right now. And please lift your gaze. That was mindfulness, paying attention to the present moment with kindness and curiosity. We call it a practice, just like shooting free throws or playing guitar. Why mindfulness in schools? Our children and teens are experiencing unprecedented levels of stress and anxiety. Acute or chronic stress inhibits our brain's ability to thrive and is a predictor of poor mental health outcomes. Nearly a fifth of our children have a diagnosed mental, emotional, or behavioral disorder, and that's only those diagnosed. I know, and probably many of you know, children and teens who are suffering. I also know amazing teachers, and 93% of our elementary school teachers say they're stressed or very stressed in their job. We know from many studies that when teacher stress is high, student well-being and achievement decline. So we have vicious cycles of stressed teachers and stressed students circling each other. What if we could instead train mindfulness communities or school communities in mindfulness practices to create awareness, resilience, and empowerment? Mindfulness practices, when practiced with rhythm and repetition, over time rewire our brain to dampen the stress response and increase our well-being. How we pay attention can change the structure and the function of our brain. Sarah Lazar, doing research at Harvard, even is showing these differences on MRI machines, which is amazing. The practices also create a space between our name the stressor and our response, giving us more agency to make much needed changes in our system. Our innovation is working in whole school communities. We start with educators, we work with students, and we work with families. It's deep relationship-based work, steeped in love. We'll work with about 1,900 people this year. We prioritize Title I schools, and schools that see mindfulness as a foundational tool and a key part of addressing larger systemic issues in schools. We also provide retreats and workshops in the community for educators and families, including offerings specifically for educators of color. Amir, one of our students, spent months in a refugee camp before he started school. He was having stomach aches, anxiety, calling home, and leaving school. After a few weeks of mindfulness training, his teacher was able to guide him through practices when he was feeling anxious so he could stay in school, learn, and connect to his classmates. In talking to some fifth grade students just yesterday about how mindfulness had changed their lives, I heard, I'm happier, I'm more focused, I'm getting better grades, I don't get angry as much. I feel more positive. At one of our schools, we saw a 73% reduction in office referrals and a 60% reduction in discipline after working with us for a year. A veteran teacher at that same school said, this is the first thing that actually works, that actually teaches us and kids how to decrease stress. Or another teacher, this is life-changing, personally and professionally. That's how it's been for me. Our team collectively has backgrounds in psychology, nonprofit management, education, and more. Our budget is $237,000, and our ask is for $215,000 more to expand to five more school communities, reaching about 4,500 people. It's a tiny ask to make a dent in the huge amount of money, a billion dollars we spend on Washington in mental health services. 
I ask you to invest in a foundation of well-being rather than reactivity. This is mindfulness. I ask you to invest in healing our school communities. This is love. Thank you.